Man, I'm turning back now, baby. <laughs> she looks good wet. That's what she said. <laughs> Richard is gonna 100% put something on the screen when I say that. What's up, it's Casey from Casey's Customs. I am building the Monte Carlo from the movie Training Day. In this video, we cut the heck out of the car. We get the sunroof installed. I finally get the mirrors mounted and we do a bunch of interior work. Let's go. Before we get started on the beautiful Monte Carlo build, I asked in the last week's video, do you guys wanna do a giveaway? I haven't done one of my sticker giveaways in several months. Do you want to do a sticker giveaway on the 51 Chevy? I had 300 comments and probably 100 emails of people saying, let's go. So the giveaway on the 51 Chevy Fleet Line is currently live right now. The link is in the description of this video. There should be plenty of details on the website, but if you have any questions at all, shoot me a message. I'll be happy to answer. Now, let's start cutting up the roof, baby. I finally got a sunroof for the Monte Carlo. It has taken forever. It was a real pain in the ass because I needed more than just the sunroof. The glass, you can buy the glass on eBay for 50 bucks. It's not that big of a deal. I needed the metal that surrounded it. I needed the mechanism. I needed all that. So essentially I needed someone to cut a roof off of a car that had a sunroof in it. it took a while. I asked several junkyards. I didn't have exactly what I wanted. My buddy who lives in Nebraska actually has one. He cut the roof off. He's gonna be here in a minute. I can't wait to see it. Let's check it out. Check it out. Just got it unloaded. This should be perfect. Obviously I don't need all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming it. I need to trim the bottom out of it too. I think I wanna take the glass out. So before I do any cutting or welding on the actual car, I'm not gonna risk ruining that glass. I don't know how easy it is to get the glass out though, so I'm gonna find out here right now. I need to flip it upside down without breaking it. So I don't know I'm gonna do this yet, but we'll figure it out, I guess, as we go. I believe this was out of a, I think he said like a, might've been a Ford Explorer or something. I don't remember what it was, but it was some sort of an SUV and uh, it should work perfect, but I'm not 100% sure yet until I get it out. So let's go. a bigger pain in the ass than I thought. Good news is I did get it unbolted. I got it all trimmed. I got all the paint off so it is ready for welding. What we're gonna do now is bring in the Monte Carlo. The poor baby girl's been sitting outside for like two weeks while I've been waiting on parts for it. And uh, oh, I just labeled this front too. I almost did it again. I keep thinking that this is the front messing it up. That would have been a very bad mistake. Oh, we'll get this marked and uh, cut the shit out of the roof. Let's go. Also check this out. I got nitrous for the Mustang. God, it's gonna be so fun. But that is more nitrous than anybody would ever need. All right, let's go get the uh, money, baby. Check it out. The baby is back inside where she should be. She should never go outside, but had to move some stuff around. Also, side note, I need to start building more motorcycles because they just save so much space. You just, you throw it in a corner when you're waiting on parts. I love it, yeah. So much easier. Check this out real quick. We have our sunroof and I was, you know, looking at where I was gonna put it. It looks kind of good right there. I was thinking that's pretty good. It's straight above the seats. I love it. And then I realized, you know what I need to do? I need to look at the Monte Carlo from training day because that's what we're building. And look, I found a picture. It is way up front. So I thought it was gonna be here. Probably needs to be more like that, which I, I don't love actually. We might end up tweaking it a little bit, kind of meet somewhere in the middle, like right there. That would be directly above your head, which would be nice. But uh, yeah, I can't believe how far forward it is in the movie. So I'm gonna kind of, I want it back here. And in the movie, it's way up here. I'm gonna probably meet in the middle, kind of just find a happy medium. I'm not in love with it way, way up front. That don't look too bad right there. I'm gonna measure 10 million times now, mark it, start cutting. I got it marked. I had to, uh, you know, drill a hole to troll some people on TikTok and Instagram. We all know that's that's one of the things I love to do. Uh, but I got this marked where it needs to be. Mother fuck. Hey, yo, my boy. Hey, bro. I know you're new and everything, but you don't go off when I'm recording. Play you some video of what the last dude who started, you know, going off all the time when I was recording, looks like. He's in a scrap bin somewhere, so take it easy. You see me holding a camera, you be quiet. be quiet. We're not off to a good start. You've only been in here for like a couple days. <clears throat> so 
Sorry, I was rudely interrupted. Um, I got the, damn it, I'm so pissed. I got the sunroof marked where I need to go. I actually need to come way out here with a cut, but I wanna cut it here first. Then I can sit it on the actual roof and then mark where I need to be exact. Um, I don't want to do, I want to do a butt weld. I obviously don't want to overlap it on the roof because it will want to rust. So we need to make sure we get a good butt weld on there. But uh, yeah, let's cut the shit out of it, baby. I was also checking, whoever had it marked, where this brace is. What I'm going to do is cut this brace out and probably end up moving it back or something. The good news is piece I'm welding in has some bracing in it already, so it shouldn't make the roof too floppy. But if I do need to add some more bracing, I will address that whenever it comes time. But uh, let's cut some shit. All right, I got a kind of rough cut. I just got it sitting in there. It still needs to be cut out some more so it'll sit flush. I almost got a little too cute with this corner and thought I overcut and was very pissed. So I went ahead and just put it back in here. I'm gonna trace around it, around the edge, but I'm gonna cut an inch on the inside because what I really wanna do is get this in there so that I can run a couple sheet metal screws and then I'll scribe the line so it'll be perfect. But I definitely don't want to mess up and overcut anything because this really almost pissed me off. <laughs> Let's take some marks, some measurements and cut a little bit more and then hopefully we can get it in there sitting flush. After measuring 16 million times, pulling it off, trimming, pulling it off, trimming, pulling it off, trimming, I have it exactly where it's at. Look, it's going to sit flush. I'm going to put some sheet metal screws in it, and I can get an exact scribe on exactly where it's going to be, trim it the rest of the way, and then we'll start doing some welding. But I'm really, really happy how it's laying out. Looks pretty damn good. The thing I was worried about was the curve because this frame still has curve in it. And I was pretty sure that the curve was matching up when I was looking at it, but you know, some of these sunroofs have a shitload of curve in them. And I was like, man, if that crown doesn't match my roof, I'm screwed. But uh, this looks pretty damn perfect to be honest with you. But yeah, let's get some self tappers in it and then we will uh, take it out and cut some more. Make sure I'm hitting metal on the bottom first. I don't know if I showed her or not, but look how close. <laughs> I cut that corner just a little too close. I got so lucky that I could kind of, you know, get it where it needs to be. But I was almost 99% sure there was going to be like a one inch section out of here. I was going to have to patch, which wouldn't have been the end of the world, but I didn't want to. So, all right, let's start screwing, baby. I marked it with a permanent marker and then went over it with a scribe. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but... Now we know exactly where it needs to cut. Let's start trimming it, and then hopefully we'll get to weld it. I think I need to get in here and get all this damn matting out before I weld it, because that is definitely gonna burn. <laughs> Just realized. Let's cut some more, baby. the freaking headliner bedding out was harder than cutting the roof. I got it all out around the weld so I'm worried it'll catch fire, but look at that shit. Ugh, that took like 30 minutes. I tried to chisel it out. I got a lot of it with the chisel, but it's just there's glue holding a lot of it on. Woo! All right, I think it's about time to weld. I'm not gonna jinx it yet, but uh, yeah, let's see what happens. It is time to weld. Since we are butt welding and not overlapping anything, <laughs> the tolerances are very tight. 
I have dropped the sunroof down probably five times off camera. Another thing I have to do, I have to be really cool with my heat because this roof is thin. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like this whole roof is moving around as I'm moving this vice plant. I'm gonna end up TIG welding it because I can control my heat a little bit better, but I wanna use the MIG weld to just get it tacked in place and then I can cut these um, screw parts out and then go ahead and get those welded too. This is gonna take a while. I'm gonna really take my time hammer and dolly it, make sure my, make sure all my joints are perfect when I get them tack welded. That'll make it easier when I go to TIG weld it because I can just weld the whole thing. I won't have to sit there and keep adjusting it. I said all that to say it's time-lapse time. <laughs> Check it out. Got it all tack welded. Looks really, really good. Kept all the joints very, very tight. I'm gonna do some TIG welding, but there's probably three hours worth of TIG welding there. And not only is that a boring ass video, I just realized my TIG welder is not gonna reach the other side of the welds. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably do all that off camera. I'm gonna do a little bit of TIG welding here on camera, but the rest of it I'll finish up on my own. Then we need to move to something else. I haven't showed off all the parts I've got, but I ordered plastic pieces that were broken on the inside. They have finally showed up, which is awesome. Also, I got a dash cover. I thought that was a full dash when I ordered it and then realized it wasn't. I wasn't happy about it at first, but I looked at a bunch of videos with people putting the covers on. They actually look really nice when they're on there. The reason you need a full dash usually is because your dash is just ruined. Mine is shitty, but it's actually all together, so that cover should work out perfect. I also got my carpet in. I think my headliner's in next week. My seat covers, I got brand new seat covers, they're coming in next week. So the reason I say all that is basically the interior is ready to go. So what I need to do is get all of my plastic primed and painted and then start to install it because the plastic goes in first, then the carpet goes in, then the headliner goes in, and then you start putting your seats in and stuff. So plastics are what goes up next. And if you didn't see my last video, I have blue plastics because this was a blue interior, but I am fixing them. They were kind of cracked up and dirty and we're gonna be repainting them all black. I have some somewhere, I don't know. We've been moving everything around the shop right now, so I don't know where I put them, but anyways. Oh, here we go. Here's the black ones I painted. I wanted to test and see if the black paint would work out on the plastics. It looks perfect. So we need to get the rest of this plastic out, sand it down and paint it. But I'm gonna do a little bit more TIG welding before I call it quits. God damn, that looks good up here too. I didn't even look at it from the front, <laughs> but yeah. Let's do a little TIG welding and then uh, start some painting. Found a little bit of body cock. Hey, oh, body cock. So I was uh, starting to do my TIG weld. Hey. Oh, shit, that's still hot. Uh, st damn. Damn. Starting to do my TIG welding and I was getting ready to start sanding on the plastic pieces. I realize I haven't even put the damn glass in there. So I'm obviously gonna let that cool a little bit and uh, we're gonna throw the glass in and see what it looks like. Check that shit out. <laughs> God damn. Uh, it was filthy, so I poured water on it, and sure enough, it does not leak. Oh, so happy. I mean, technically, it shouldn't leak because this is the original metal to the sunroof, but still, you never know on these things. Ooh, God damn, that looks good. So happy. Also, fun fact, I was looking at it. It has a Chrysler stamp on it, so... I'll have to ask uh, my buddy, because I cannot remember what he said he got out of, but I thought he said it was like a Explorer or something, but obviously it's not. <laughs> so much work. Just a ridiculous amount of work, but just like the other shit, converting it to 79 turn signals, which took six weeks of looking, 79 tail lights. You know, these are just things that the Monte Carlo on training day had, and that's why we're doing them, so. Sweet, man. This took just so much time and I still have to weld the damn thing, but I couldn't find all the bolts to bolt it in. So right now I have the jack holding up the ass end of it, <laughs> but I'll find some bolts and shit. Sweet, man. Let's, uh, let's paint some trim on this bitch now. I'm going to scoot it back and then we'll uh, paint all of our stuff up front. 
This shop is getting packed. I'm getting ready to do a giveaway, um, hopefully on the 51, $3,500 build, but I don't know what order any of these videos are gonna be in anymore. That might not have happened yet or it might've already happened, but <laughs> we gotta start, you know, getting rid of some shit and uh, making room. Cause we got more shit coming and more fun shit. This is the last pieces I needed. Get out of there. Oh, wow. Those are so much nicer than the one I had. I only had one, so I had to order it anyway, but these came in pairs. And I'm definitely gonna use these instead of the one I have. I gotta go find the one I have, but it is pure shit. <laughs> Here's the one I had. Look how bad it is. It's just, it's like chipped and faded and all kinds of shit. And I bought both of those, I think, for 60 bucks. So, so, so happy. I ended up, I think I've ended up replacing four or five different pieces. And at first, when I first started looking, I could not find them. And I was like, great, just like the freaking ta the turn signals and the tail lights and shit. It's gonna be impossible, but sure enough, I ended up finding several places that sold the trim. Some people think they're worth way too much, but uh, you know, you just stay patient, you'll find some. But I saw one of these, cause I already had one for like 300 bucks. And I was like, oh, I'm never gonna have all the trim for this car. But then I found a couple other places that had them. So sweet, let's get them sanded and paint. painted and it absolutely reeks in here <laughs> so we'll come back in tomorrow see how these look a couple of the spots the plastic just sucked up all the paint instantly so i have a feeling those three over there are going to need some more paint but uh we'll see how it looks tomorrow the next day came in today sure enough half of these look like shit the other half is okay-ish but not great I didn't know what was going on so i had to go through the videos yesterday i was like what did i do sure enough i was mixing paint brands which you should never do especially with spray paint they use different thinners and shit in between each brand and they will usually have a reaction if you mix them like duplicolor with rust-oleum rust-oleum with u pole whatever you never try and mix them whenever you're doing something so some of that is my issue some of it is i had sand scratches on that weird plastic coating that I had on some of these pieces, but no big deal. I have other plastic pieces that need painted, so I'm just gonna be doing like a revolving door of plastic pieces that I have to paint black uh, to get ready for next week, but that's not very fun to watch, so we're gonna move on. Great news, I got my other mirror today. I'm so, so excited. These are out of a, I think, 80s Camaro, if I remember right, 85 Camaro. The Training Day Monte Carlo had updated mirrors, and you can see from where I had to weld up the old mirror location that is in a very different location from the stock mirrors. So I have to grind that down a little bit. I have to drill a hole, and then we will finally have our mirrors on there. I'm so excited. The amount of parts that I have needed to do the 79 Monte Carlo from training day transition has been crazy. And like just shit that I would assume, I would assume if I needed mirrors on an 85 Camaro, I could go anywhere in the world online and just have 10 places where I could buy them. That is not the case. I had to find them on eBay. Some places I found, they sold them new, but they were like $500 a mirror. I'm like, there's no, I just need you shit because I'm going to be repainting it anyway. But long story short, I finally got them. Also, I think I said it earlier in the video, I for sure am going to be getting my seat covers next week. So I should have every piece of the interior for next week's video. And hopefully we can get the interior completely done. Carpet, all new covers. We'll have all the plastic pieces painted and we'll put the dash back in. I'll just be so happy. Interior stuff takes a long time and it's kind of tricky, but I am excited to see how all that will look. And then we're gonna start doing some body work, but getting ahead of myself as usual and I'm rambling. So let's drill some holes, baby. It's hard to drill on the other side. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I like it. Man, those are cool ass mirrors. I really, really like it. I think we should push this thing outside and take a look at it. I haven't done a walk around in a very long time. So I got her outside and it just needs washed. And I thought originally it was gonna be too cold to get the hose out, but sure enough, I turned the water on and I don't see any icicles coming out. So uh, 
let's wash some shit that one's never been washed still it has probably a half inch of bird shit on it <laughs> this one sat outside for a month or whatever while we we're waiting on parts so it's still kind of gross i still need to clean the blue off my white walls and to be honest the mustang could use a nice wash too so let's wash some shit and then we'll take some videos over clean I'm so happy. I thought I might have left the blue on for too long. I left the blue on for too long on my truck over there, and it just kind of always had a little blue hue to it. It uh, came right off. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Let's keep watching. That is a good looking car right there, man. <laughs> I've just been staring at it for like 20 minutes. Oof. I mean, I don't even like 70s and 80s cars, but that is bitching. I can't wait to paint it and do the interior next week. Boy, she just, she looks good wet. That's what she said. <laughs> Richard is going to 100% put something on the screen when I say that. She looks good wet. There's going to be an AO type thing. Hey, yo. Man, I really like this car a lot. I knew I wanted it from the movie, obviously, but uh, I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I like it. I really fucking like it. Damn, she looks good. Check this shit out. Just got here. Oh, 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 oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> Oh man, that is super cool. I have more of these coming. This is the main one. You can buy copies. I got copies coming. We're gonna see if we can't weld them together and shit. Even though I don't think it's real aluminum. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun with the extras, but uh couldn't have done this without you guys. Love you so much. This looks so good. I am so happy to get the sunroof done. I know I said it earlier in the video, but I looked for so long. It was easy to find the glass. I could find the glass anywhere. To find someone to cut a roof off and leave the metal so that I had something to weld to uh, was a lot more challenging. So, so happy I got that done. We got the mirrors done. We got our interior trim, plastic, basically painted and done. So the next video, hopefully finish all the interior. And then, I mean, she's just a paint job away and we're gonna have some fun whenever it's painted. I'm gonna recreate so many scenes from the movie. It's just, it's, it's gonna be a ton of fun. If you're not already subscribed, hit that button now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, comment, all that good stuff. I tell you the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace, love ya.